Grasping on the floors because sometimes babies when they're excited. He, you know, finally saw that possibility that he had the capacity to move and go somewhere, even though he knew if I was set on the floor, I'm stuck in one spot. But when I'm put in this little machine, I can actually go somewhere. Yeah, and so I guess it's probably okay. You're fine. Yeah, things happen. Absolutely. Bumps and bruises. Bring you the center. Yeah, that's the whole. And the baby would use the joystick to move the. Uh, robot in different directions, forward, backward, sideways, turn them around, and so forth. And uh, um, as this is happening, essentially you have all the sensor information as well as uh, um, uh, the, the intelligence on board to train the baby to move in a certain desirable way. As the robot is moving, ahead or, or along, along the direction, you can see the world around it as the sensors see it. And depending on where it is, uh, essentially these are the boundaries or these are, this is the free area that the robot can instantaneously move without hitting an obstacle. Got the gap was huge. They're, they're 10 year old, 15 year old. I think this is the very first step in asking question, how can robotic sensing not be used for technology's sake? but actually be thought of to, uh, for a bridge for a human to advance. Since he didn't have that chance to roll and crawl like the other kids, I could finally see, where do you really want to go? What do you want to see? What do you want to do? And he could tell me. When I try to override him, it's kind of like taking a toddler's hand and saying, no, we're going to go this way. And you get that tantrum where they fall to the ground. He gives me a good yell and pulls on that joystick and says, no, we're going this way, Mom. The biggest smiles come when we see independence bubble up and a kid act like a full-blown brat. That is what independence is all about, is trying to exert your power on the world. And you cannot do that sitting alone. It has to be with peers. You have to go and learn the tricks of the trade and then um, go and make your mark on the world. To ask him to sit back and wait for his legs to work so that those other things can, it, it's hard. I, he, I can see the frustration in his eyes and the, you're, you're wired to want to move. You're wired to want to explore and learn about your environment now, not in a couple of years.